Hey, everybody. So Tim here with another tech situation. We're going to be talking about the IAC, the IAC. This thing right here is basically a computer controlled vacuum leak that the computer uses to calm the idle down and try to meet its target. So we're going to talk about some of the initial adjustments that you'll have to do. I've already got my Tahoe air cleaner off up to temperature. Now it's time to take my number two Phillips screwdriver and make a few adjustments. Let me start this up real quick. Okay, so we gotta start it up. <laughs> Look at that. See, it's stuck. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna use that over here. All right. It's this right here. So we can see right here, we're up to temperature pretty well. We got about right around our target, which is about 850, but our IAC position's kind of high. We're at 46 IAC. There's no fans on. We're looking pretty good. This is the point you really want to adjust it before the fans kick on with it up to temperature. So I'll take my screwdriver and we're going to turn this curb idle screw in a little bit at a time. Oh, all right, cool. So we've made contact with it. We see the linkage just moves barely. So we'll give it a little bit. We'll wait for the idle to come back down. I gave it probably a half a turn in at this point. We can see that it idled it up right here. And the IAC position's at 34. So this is going to start reaching, going coming back down towards this target. I'm really looking for about 10 or 20 or so right here. So we're we're looking pretty good. Or about 24. I'm gonna give it maybe, maybe another just a little little bump in, maybe a quarter of a turn. It's small adjustments, but it moved up a little bit, and this is getting closer. We don't want to be too overzealous because it'll do some funny stuff, which I'll show you that too, which is neat. But so the eye position is about 14, 13, 10, and we're still got a high idle. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. So that went up to its parked position. So if we go over here to monitor and sensors, we'll see that our TPS is at 2.5 degrees and it's no longer in its closed position. So see it says open now. So what we can do is we can go to here and zero it. Now it's, it's back to what it thinks this new zero is, this new closed position. But we're on purpose over adjusted that. You can see that even though I'm really close to my target, I'm at five. So the IAC is bottomed out all the way. So if I was to throw my finger over this IAC hole, it changes nothing. There, ever so slightly. Look at that, see? It's starting to open up more and more and more. So we know that we're right on the edge of being properly adjusted. I can back this throttle linkage out just a little bit, like that quarter turn that I put in, and we'll be right on target. So. There about. Actually, that was about an eighth of a turn. We're sitting here looking. We're about 850, or I asked around 16. So this. It's right in that pocket of being really good. Now, I don't have timing control, so it makes it more critical to have the IAC doing its job because that distributor is set at 18 degrees, just, you know, living its life all happy. So this is a pretty good number right here. We're on our target pretty well. We're, our temperature's coming up. Pulse width, everything is looking really, really nice right here. So my target's 850, my IAC position's less than 20. You don't hear that sucking noise that the IAC does. 
if it was open too much, like if this was like 60 or 70 in the IAC position, it would be screaming. It would actually be whistling through that thing. And you don't really want that. So you wanna open your throttle blades appropriately. This engine is a very stock engine, so there's no worries about, you know, is it too much? Has it got a fat cam? Is it gonna be weird? So we're, we're looking good. IAX at 17, I like that number for what we're doing. We're at 850, our temperature's good. Now, because this thing doesn't have an electrical fan, it'll still turn this on when it gets up to temperature. Like if it gets to the point of needing to turn a fan on, that'll turn on, which will add about 20% value to this. So it'll bump it up to 20 something, 30 maybe, and up the idle some. So if you see that fan is flagged on and you're making this adjustment, keep that mental for you. Keep it, you know, you can adjust it to a higher position so that when this turns off, this will be more in a respectable range. Just, just little stuff about the IAC, you know? But also, safety tips. Don't wear loose, loose clothing around a fan or a belt system and uh, keep this thing safe if you're doing it exactly like I did it. But yeah, so outside of that, if I was to uh, set my screwdriver down in a safe place and put my finger over the IAC hole, we'll see it, the idle will lower and this will start to go crazy. Oh yeah, see, it's really starting to work now. But if you notice, I'm only about you know, a hundred off my target. And look at that IAC position, it's 140. Yeah, it's maxed out at 140. So if I'm gonna take this off, it's gonna idle up real hard and then chill and slowly come back down. Look at that, that's awesome. And see, it's, it's bringing itself right back down. So, that's when you know you're looking pretty good. But also you can cover that hole up and then adjust it to about maybe 50 to 100 lower than what your target is. Zero your TPS and you should still be in a pretty good range when you get done. If you're not using timing control. If you're using timing control, you, you lock it out in a handheld and kind of do a similar thing. Um, but yeah, I just want to share some information about it today. But let me get this thing turned off and... Uh, We'll see if there's any other tidbits of information I can give you on this. Let me put this somewhere safe. So anyways, we've done some basic adjustments. We've turned the vehicle off, we've keyed it back on. We're sitting here looking at the handheld. We can see the IAC position's at 74. This, this is like the parked start position. If you have a heavier cam, you can go into the parameters and actually the IAC you know, parked position, you can adjust that up so if you need more air on your initial startup, like if you got a bit of a cam, um, you can change this position value. You can make it higher or lower to suit your engine needs. Like if you're if you're starting up and it has all the fuel it needs, but it needs more air, you can fix that. But also, you need to, after that, go back in here. You've made the adjustments. You want to zero that TPS to make sure the zero is zero. So it's not right on that ragged edge of saying, hey, we're, you know, we're here doing this and now we're doing something else. Also, when you're cruising down the road and you get your, as you saw earlier in the video, uh, the IAC position when it thinks it's open, the TPS being open, it'll go to its parked position, which we saw was like 30 or 40 or so. But as you're cruising down the road, that right there will move in and out depending on load of the engine. So if you're really getting into the throttle itself a bit, uh, you'll notice that your IAC position is going to increase a little bit to help with that calculated airflow going over the throttle blades, just giving a little bit of extra air where it really matters. Some for tip-in and other calculations. But, you know, I hope this information helps get your get your engine set up just right. You know, we, uh, we try to get this out as much as possible, and I know that we haven't really touched on the IAC very much, but I just wanted to take a minute and demystify it a little bit more for you. So... Stay tuned for more tech tips.